And while we follow the arrest of Koku Anidohu here in Ghana and across over to Europe this week, we focus on arrest in Germany as well. Former Catalan President Klaus Puigdemont was arrested on a European arrest warrant in Germany, which was followed by protest in Spain. Political correspondent with our partner DW Thomas Sparrow joins us from Germany. Thomas, it's good to have you. Now, tell us the dynamics of the European arrest warrant which made this possible. The European arrest warrant is an EU-wide uh, mechanism which aims to simplify these kinds of processes, the arrest and extradition of uh, people who are arrested in different parts uh, in the continent. However, there is one important element uh, there in order to carry out such an extradition, and that is that the crimes in one country must be in a, in, in a way compatible or very similar to the crimes uh, in another country. And this is particularly important in the case of Mr. Puigdemont, because that is precisely uh, what the legal authorities uh, in Germany will have to decide, whether rebellion, which is uh, the reason why he's being, uh, why Spain wants him, is in a way compatible in, in Germany and Spain. That's the key element, that's what the case hinges on, whether there are similarities between the two cases in Germany uh, and uh, in Spain. Now, you mentioned that European arrest warrant. That European arrest warrant was reactivated by Spain last Friday. Uh, Mr. Puigdemont was uh, in Finland on, on Friday talking to lawmakers there. Uh, he then started to travel back uh, to the European uh, Union country, Belgium. Uh, and what, when, when he was crossing between Germany and Denmark, uh, he was then arrested by German authorities in the northern German state of Schleswig-Holstein, which is the only German state which has a border with uh, Denmark. And the, the reason why German authorities did so is because of this European arrest warrant, which means hmm. that they have the obligation to do so. How easy will an extradition be uh, uh, in this particular case? It won't be easy under any circumstance, precisely because now legal authorities have to determine whether there are similarities between the two systems, okay. between the Spanish system and the German system. That's something that can take uh, quite some time. But you also have to keep in mind that this is not only a, a legal case. You, you can say that it's a legal case, but it's also a, a very political. big political right. problem uh, for German mm. authorities. They have to be extremely careful in how they manage the situation so as they do not appear to be meddling in the affairs of another EU mm. country. And that reflects why some German politicians have been very cautious when it comes to expressing what they believe about uh, this case. They've said, first and foremost, this is something for the courts to decide, not necessarily a political mm. uh, problem, but it is something that has become a, a dilemma for German authorities, right. a political problem which they have to, to now also resolve. So it's mm. not only something legal and judicial, it's also something that has become political and uh, by that means also very important politically, not only in Germany but also in Spain. And speaking of uh, legal, le dealing with it through the legal uh, processes, he was sent to court. Can you give us a brief of uh, the outcome? Well, he went to court first to verify his identity, then to see if he had to remain detained while all these extradition proceedings are, are carried out. So it was just an initial phase, if you will, of the whole process. Now you have uh, Easter break here in, in Germany, and that's a reason why some of the authorities have said that uh, a decision will not be made before uh, Easter. It's something that will certainly take quite some time. Mm. Uh, as far as we know, he is now uh, in a prison in the northern German town of Neumünster, uh, waiting for the uh, other uh, extradition uh, proceedings to, right. to continue. But again, it will be uh, a rather long and difficult uh, process. According to the European arrest warrant, uh, Germany has up to 60 days to, to decide uh, on this case and then to, to deliver Mr. Puigdemont if that's what they decide, although in certain instances it could mm. take a bit longer. Hmm. Uh, th there's been a lot of reactions. Uh, people have protested and it's ended up in a lot of injuries as well uh, back in, in, in Spain. What has been the reaction, for example, across Europe, if you can speak to that? Well, essentially, th this means that this is not only a case for Spain or a case for Catalonia. It has become a European Union-wide issue, a European hmm. Union-wide problem in particular because of this European uh, arrest warrant. Now, obviously, Germany is also uh, involved in that. And you can see that a detention in Germany can also generate protests uh, in another 
part of, of Europe, so that's why it has become something that goes well beyond the national borders of one particular uh, country. If you look at some of the reactions, obviously they vary depending on what political position one politician has or hasn't. Uh, in Germany, at least, the reactions have uh, been, as I mentioned, cautious from most politicians, saying that they would like to wait first to see what the courts uh, decide. However, the German government spokesperson mm. uh, did say that uh, the Catalonia crisis is what, it's one that has to be resolved within Spain's legal and constitutional order, and that Germany, from that perspective, supports Spain's legal and constitutional order. Um, so there have been plenty of reactions also in other European uh, countries, but most of them have been rather uh, cautious so far, waiting to see what exactly legal scholars and legal authorities decide on this particular case. Finally, um, Thomas, what uh, are there any implications anyway, any uh, implications for the political relationship between uh, Germany and Spain going forward? It depends who you ask. I mean, if you ask the German government spokesperson, he would say that uh, this case would not affect German-Spanish relations. In fact, he was asked earlier this week whether that would be the case, and he answered with just one word. He said, no. In other words, uh, emphatically saying that he doesn't believe that this could become a problem between Germany and Spain. However, as we've uh, already discussed, it is, this is not only a, a legal case involving one high-profile politician. This has become uh, a significant political dilemma for Germany, and I guess depending on how that significant political dilemma is resolved, we will be able to see whether this has implications for the Spanish-German uh, relationship going forward. Thomas, thank you so much for that update. Thomas Sparrow is a political correspondent with uh, our partners DW, bringing us up to speed on what's happening in Germany. We'll be following that situation. In the meantime, it looks like a very similar situation to what we're dealing here with here in Ghana. I'm talking about the arrest of Koku Anyodoho, the Deputy General Secretary of the Opposition in D.C. You're still watching the polls with me, Gifty Andropia.